Dark Souls 3 is offline. Dark Souls 2 is offline. Dark Souls is offline. Elden Ring would be offline if it were released. Here's what you need to know about the RCE exploit. A little over a day ago, a person connected with the Grim Sleeper, or just Grim, on his stream in order to showcase a security vulnerability in the Dark Souls 3 netcode. This is a very serious vulnerability, and it can be used to inject any code, software, viruses, etc. into any computer through the connection on a Souls game. Yes, any Souls game. Currently, there's no reason to believe that anyone with bad intentions has known about or had access to the vulnerability, and the person who discovered the RCE exploit is so far the only person known to have done it. The vulnerability itself would have taken weeks to exploit if somebody knew what they were doing. As of right now, nobody has been at significant risk of RCE through Souls games. This exploit has been present since Demon Souls release to give you some idea of how astronomically hard it would be to hide that discovery if it were used maliciously at all. Consoles have this vulnerability as well, However, due to how they run games, they are likely to just crash the game rather than brick or run code inside of your PS4. Within 24 hours, the developers of Blue Sentinel, which is an anti-cheat mod for DS3, patched this vulnerability. If you had Blue Sentinel, basically you were safe. This is important to mention because the work that goes into fan mods like this really showcase how huge the presence of fan-made tools have been for the Souls Online experience. To quote someone I spoke to on the issue, we have been trying to alert them to this sort of stuff for at least three years now. This isn't the first RCE that was discovered, just the first one that was demonstrated live. PowerShell opened up and started narrating a fucking Gabby copy pasta. When I asked whether the previously discovered RCEs were patched, the answer was no. Everyone is vulnerable as long as they are in-game and connected to the internet. I don't think anyone should be more afraid than usual. There is no immediate danger, but we should take steps to ensure this is fixed by holding FromSoft accountable. The person who found this exploit did the right move by escalating matters to make sure that happens, while also helping Luke Yui and Sfix to apply a fix in Blue Acolyte and Blue Sentinel for DS2 and 3 respectively, and Metal Crow for DSR. If they didn't wish to remain anonymous, they should have gotten a lot of praise for their work. Players, or even malicious cheaters, aren't at fault either. The only direction to point for change on this issue is towards Bandai Namco and from software. Not a single person used it against a player maliciously. Trying to frame some aspects of the game or the social environment as the cause is detrimental to addressing the issue, similar issues, and future issues that will undoubtedly arise. I want to use this segue to talk more about strategy moving forward. We should be concerned about this not just because it can be used maliciously. We should be concerned because there is no communication channel with people who reverse engineer their games. The people who find these RCE exploits attempt to contact FromSoft and Bamco, but until now there has been no response or attempt at fixing them. There are official channels for reporting them, email contacts, support tickets, reports direct to Bandai Namco employees. Nothing. One day after the RCE showcase was performed live, the servers for each PC Souls game went down in order to fix it. The only clear channel for the community to take part in fixing these issues, and issues that may come up later, is to raise awareness about them in a way that the publisher and developers cannot ignore. I'd like to thank Princess Slut, as well as every pony in the modding community, for putting in the effort to make the game safer and the anonymous and benevolent discoverer of this exploit. My hope is that this message is seen by someone within Bandai Namco or from software who has the ability to make this kind of change happen, because all it takes is one person to be tasked to communicate and fix something like this.